Roger. Hi. How are you? All right. Ignore it. I'm trying, but it's happening a lot. Stupid. I'm okay. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. There's something that I'm trying to work through, and I, I need some help. Do you mind? <laughs> Come on. Have you heard of Claudius Church? Tell me, uh, tell me why that name should sound so familiar. He's an attorney. He's handled a lot of cases you've probably read about. Oh, that Halliday thing last year. Yeah, that's one of them. Well, he, uh, he's supposed to be very good. He is. He tracked me down last night. I was in Greenberg's. So I don't know how he found me, but I guess it's not that difficult. Anyway, he, uh, he wants to handle my defense. At first I said no, and then we, we talked a little bit. And I said that I would think about it. And? I don't know. And that's why I need to talk about it out loud. Look, honey, I don't know how you're going to react to this, but would you mind if Faith were here, too? You know that she doesn't want to be involved in this. Jill, no matter what's happened between you, you have to know that she's been worried sick. Do it for her and for yourself. You know where you can find her? I'll find her. I like to help. Ah, you're such a thoughtful girl. Truly the child of my heart. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. That voice. Tis Francis. Your firstborn. Hello, Ma. Hello, Delia. Where was that glorious voice coming from? That was Delia, dear. I should have known. I thought I had entered the gates of heaven. What a woman. What a treasure. Why don't we bury her? It's Faith. So it is. Why don't you go on singing, love? Oh, is that what that awful noise was? We thought it was beautiful. Sing, dears. No, no, I don't want to bother anyone. Even those who are cruel and vicious to me. I'll just clean the bar and make some scones. Mm, good. You do that. What a terrible thing to do. Ma, please. We have to be understanding. Faith, Faith's husband, Tom, has been dead only 15 years. She's, got, she's still going through a period of adjustment. Yeah, I'm real broken up, so give me a break, huh? Faith, if there's anything I can do. Oh. oh thanks. I needed that. But if you really want to cheer me up, how about doing me a little favor? What's that? Marry me. That would make me real happy. What do you say? I'm sorry, Faith, I can't. Why not? Because I don't love you. I don't even like you. My answer is no. Thank heaven. How can you say that, Maeve? You have always loved me. I've always had a big heart. However, Francis, you made the wise decision. What else could I do? My heart belongs to another. Delia, I know I have no right to ask of this, but would you, could you, will you be my wife again? 
Of course I will. Oh, I was such a fool to think I had you and lost you. Shh. None of that matters now. We'll be together the way it was always meant to be. We'll make a home for little John. Yes. Yes, I'll marry you again. Well, can I have Pat? You may certainly not. Go, Faith Coleridge, go, and do not darken the doorsteps of the happiness of this family ever again with your one more minute with your despicable presence. What a dreadful girl. Forget her, Ma, I have. Because I found the girl, just like the girl that married dear old Da. Oh, it can be that way, too. I know it. I just have to figure out a way to make it happen. woman named Lupe is coming here to pluck you. The music's been picked. He wants to walk down the aisle to a theme song from a TV show? You have a problem with my theme song? Adults don't have theme songs! Well, this adult does, baby! The menu's been chosen. What is so wrong with the Caesar salad? It's heavy, it's creamy, and croutons. And the guest list is finalized. I'm Johnny, Alice's college boyfriend. I know you guys are state friends and everything. Yeah, it could have been me up there tonight. Damn, the things I used to do to her. November 28th. He's a solid, mature, terrific man. All that stands in the way of a perfect wedding Touchdown! is everything. Oh. A new series about one big day that vows to become one big mess. This is our wedding. I'm getting our salad back. Big Day. Series premiere Tuesday, November 28th, only on ABC. I'm a gum chewer. I'm a mint popper. I'm a rinser. I can't afford to have bad breath. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Dorfman, the dentist from Extreme Makeover. I know a lot of people worry about taking care of bad breath. I've tried all sorts of cover-ups, but none of them work. That's why I recommend Breathorex, not only to my patients, but to everybody I know. It's just three easy steps. Brush, scrape, rinse. With Breathorex, your breath has never felt so fresh. Only Breathorex has dual-action Zytex, which attacks the cause of bad breath and is clinically proven to keep working for hours. Non-prescription Breathorex was only sold in dentists' offices. Now, get Breathorex at fine stores everywhere. It's my complete fresh breath system. It's dentist recommended. Get real fresh breath with Breath RX. At last, no more cover ups. Give science a try. Ask your dental hygienist or get Breath RX at fine stores everywhere. Introducing Miss Flora and the Cranishore Cranberry Choir. Talking about the urinary tract is something we should try to do with tact. But there are scientific findings we'd like to bring to light. Cranberries help the plumbing work right. With the strongest cranberry extract from Ocean Spray. Scientific studies support that cranberries are a safe, natural way to promote urinary tract health. I recommend them to my patients. Cranisher, Cran New 
from nature's resource and in vitamin aisles everywhere. Now in convenient soft gel form. Call the number below or visit us online to get $10 worth of coupons on Cranishore and other nature's resource products. Try Cranishore today. Okay. Well? Well, I won't be doing any mazurkas for a while, but I'll manage. Will you? <laughs> sure. Listen, if there's anything you need, I'm just a few blocks away, and so... Well, maybe I, I could come by once in a while to s see how you are. I'd like that. So will I. Hi. Hi. Hi, Irene. Hi, Dr. Coleridge. I, I was just saying goodbye to Mr. Ryan. I should be back on my rounds. Thanks for everything. I'll see you. Ah, oh, nice lady. Yes, she is. I just came by to tell you that I've taken care of the bill, whatever the insurance didn't cover. Thank you. Don't. So, you ready to get out of here? <laughs> you might say that, yes. What are you going to do now? Well, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to start looking for work. That shouldn't be a problem. I've always had offers from other bands. Something should come up. Gonna have to wait a few weeks till I can get around a little better. Right now, all I want to do is get to my apartment and be by myself. It's been a long time. Are you gonna be all right over there? I mean, it's not gonna be easy going up and down five flights. Six, count the stew. <laughs> I'll have to depend on delivery service for a while, but I've got a vast collection of takeout menus. So I'll be okay. Really? Well, I thought about going to a hotel, but I really need to be in my own place. I've been a little disoriented with Delia gone, and now Ken. I need something. I, I don't know. How's Jill? I really haven't seen her. It's been rough, because she can't grieve in private. The trial's coming up. That shouldn't have happened to her. Well, she wants to defend herself, which I think would be a very bad mistake. <sighs> that really shouldn't have happened. She came by to see me the other day. I, I didn't know what to do. She was confused. We talked about Ken and what happened. She seemed to be trying to suggest that I could have done it, which is impossible, of course. Why would she suggest that? Well, I guess she has to establish a reasonable doubt. She'll probably try to prove that there are others who could have done it. I think that's what she's going for. I don't blame her, but it's not going to help. No one's going to believe I could have lumbered over there in my wheelchair. I just, I just wish there was something I could do. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, but you have to promise me that you'll never mention this to Jill or to anyone because it could ruin the whole thing. Of course. Jill can't know this. Go on. Have you heard of Claudia's church? The lawyer, sure. Right. Well, Roger and I met with him, and he's very interested in taking on the case. Well, that would be terrific. He's going to try to find her and make it look like it was his own idea. She has to accept, otherwise... Well, let's hope. Yeah. I'll let you know. I'm glad she has you there. Have you been able to forgive her about Ken? It's really not up to me to forgive her. No, wait, I'll get it. You oh, sit. thanks. Hello? Oh, Roger. Well, does she know? Oh, good, okay. Yeah, I'll be right there. Jill, uh, Church has contacted Jill, and uh, she's considering it. Well, good luck. Yeah. You too. Barry, take care of yourself. And if there's anything You'll I can do... You'll hear from me. Thank you. Goodbye. So long. Oh. Thanks. D. D. Oh, Bobby. Where were you at? Just thinking. About what? Things. People. Maeve and Frank. Faith. Mm. Have you noticed that Frank's been spending an awful lot of time with Faith lately? Yeah. 
fact, I think they're getting sort of involved. Have you noticed that? Yes, I've noticed it. What difference does it make? Well, I think it's a big mistake, don't you? I think it's none of our business. Just forget about it. I can't. Well, that's your problem. No, I mean, I really can't. See, uh, if I tell you something, will you promise not to get mad at me? Well, it depends, honey. I mean, why would I get mad at you? I don't know, but you've been awful grouchy lately. Well, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You're probably just tired. I haven't told anybody this, but I thought a lot about it, and I know I'm right. See, after Barry, I did a lot of thinking about my life and things like that. Sort of what Maeve would call taking stock. And I realized something very important. The reason why I've been so messed up all these years, not that I was really messed up, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I have been sort of confused sometimes, but like I was looking for something that was never really there. It's because it was there all the time. I just didn't know it. You know what I mean? No. How can I put this? I, uh, want Frank. What? I want Frank back. After all my marriages and all my affairs, well, I didn't have that many affairs, but after everything, I realized I had it right the first time. I just couldn't see it. We belong together. Little John needs us. So do I. So does Frank. He just doesn't realize it. He's all confused. He's as confused as I used to be. That's what he's doing with Faith. I mean, they're all wrong for each other, don't you think? Yeah, I do. She's so awful. I'll never be able to figure out why everybody likes her. Look what she did to Barry and to Pat. He had to move all the way to Texas because she broke his heart. That wasn't the direct reason, but still. And then you, and now Frank? I wouldn't blame, blame her for that. Well, who else? I told you, Frank's confused. Yeah, sure. You still care about her, don't you? How could you? Listen, dear, I don't know where this thing with you and Frank is coming from. But... From the truth. I realize... Well, you just better be very careful with the truth, then. So sooner or later, Frank is going to realize that what he had with Jill isn't over yet. When he does, I don't want you there. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, sure. Faith doesn't see it either. Well, did you try talking to her about it? Yeah. Well, maybe you ought to talk to Frank. Then. Oh, I've talked to Frank already. Well, we got to do something. You know she's planning to fly down to New Orleans to meet him, and you know what that means. It means we forget about it. Bobby! Forget it, Dee. There isn't one damn thing we can do for either of them. We'll see. On Soapnet. It just seems that Carly and I were gonna end up in each other's arms. A fiance betrayed. The winning's off. For lovers, a heart opens. I love you. I thought you should know. You are amazing. And for the greatest love of all. If she remembers that she killed Rick. The event most feared. We could lose her forever. Happens. I remember. Watch General Hospital tonight at 10 on Soapnet. Hope Brady, crushed wife, or resilient optimist. Get the full story on Days of Our Lives tonight at 11 on Soapman. On Disney DVD this holiday, ho, ho, ho. you can join Mickey and the gang in a triple-length clubhouse adventure. Will you help us rescue Santa? You just saved Christmas. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey Saves Santa on Disney DVD November 14th. I'm the guy you always see suffering with sinus pressure and congestion. Well, here's something out of the box. Sudafed PE Quick Dissolve Strips. Fast, maximum strength Sudafed PE in a strip to relieve sinus pressure and congestion. They dissolve instantly with a cooling sensation of menthol that says relief is on its way. <sighs> Sudafed PE Quick Dissolve Strips. And for soothing non-medicated comfort at night, there's Sudacare Vapor Plugs. Have a good night.
create possibilities with the new Crayola Cutter. It cuts paper safely where scissors can't reach and creates fun scissors can't match. The new Crayola Cutter. Look for it in the Crayola aisle. Great news. Daily consumption of certain plant extracts called phytonutrients can significantly reduce your cholesterol. But to receive these heart healthy benefits, you'd have to consume an extra 18 ears of corn or six heads of lettuce every day. Luckily, now there's a simple solution from Nature Made. Nature Made Cholestoff. Cholestoff reduces cholesterol up to 24% on average in just 30 days. After taking Cholestoff, my numbers went from 282 down to 210 in six months. I could not really believe that Cholestoff worked so well. Uh, very pleased with it. I'm very happy, and my doctor's happy and somewhat surprised. Get the facts. Call now for this free brochure and special coupons worth up to $7 off Cholestoff and other Nature Made Health solutions. The answer to lowering your cholesterol is in Cholestoff. Cholestoff is available without a prescription in the vitamin aisle. Call 1 800 758 7147 or visit us online. Hello. DirecTV has asked me to offer you an insider's look at many of the films on DirecTV pay per view. I'll share my insights about the story, the actors, well, about everything. Look for the Malton Minute before your movie starts. I'll see you there. I'm going to be my own lawyer. <laughs> Jackie D don't rat. His name's Washington. Man, that's a dumb name. Then call him George. I speak on behalf of cigarettes. It's the final frontier. Smoking is cool. There's always something good on DirecTV pay-per-view. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Well, you seem better lately. I, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I... No, it's okay. How are you? I've been better. I want to thank you for this. Well, you know that we... I do know that. Well, what's the situation? Claudius Church wants to handle my case. He's a good lawyer, probably a great one. And you, uh, you feel he can handle it well? I think so. Only you want to defend yourself. Yeah. Jill, I'm sorry, but I think that's crazy. I agree, Jill. If, if money's a problem... No, 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 no. Thanks very much, but the money is not the problem. Well, what is? I know everybody thinks that I'm being stubborn because I want to represent myself. But that isn't it. I need to be in control of my defense. I know in my mind how it should be handled, and I'm not going to change that. And whoever did it is not the issue to me. I don't understand. I believe that Ken had a right to die when and how he chose to. And whoever did it, whoever helped him understood that. And I believe that that was right. That's the line that I want and how I'm going to follow through. I'm not going to dodge the issue. I'm not going to point the finger at anyone else. Are you saying you didn't do it? I'm saying it doesn't matter. Wouldn't Church understand that? Yeah, I think so. He seemed genuinely interested in the legal question behind the case. I want to believe that he could get me free. I, I want that. Then accept it. Let him help you. Jill, you've got to have the best lawyer, and I think you have him. Please, don't take the chance. I know you want me to say yes right away, but I, I can't. I really need some time to think this out by myself a few minutes, please. Sure. Yeah. Thank you both. I want you to know that I appreciate this, and no matter what happens, I'm grateful. Take care of yourself, okay? I'm trying. You too. Raj. See you later. All right. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soap 
Their love is timeless. Their life is an adventure. Their story, unforgettable. There's something very simple. They're uncut diamonds for a diamond in the rough. Get to know Victor and Nikki, the young and the restless, next on SoapNet. Tonight on SoapNet. Did you tell Josh that you love him or not? Broken vows lead to shattered lives. JR is my future, and you are in my past. Will he save his rival? You don't deserve her. Or walk away the moment of truth. All My Children, tonight at 8 on SoapNet. Rated T for Teen. You know you like to watch. Now it's time to play. Move on to Wisteria Lane as the newest desperate housewife. Make new friends. Join the Garden Club. Visit the neighbors. Experience new secrets, lies, and scandals. Play the new Desperate Housewives game. Being bad never felt this good. Available now for your PC. Are you one of the millions of Americans having trouble sleeping, waking up tired, struggling through the day? A trusted team of medical doctors has a drug-free way to end sleepless nights. New Sleep MD. Start falling asleep in just minutes and sleep better and longer with exclusive nano-diffuse and time-release technologies. With Sleep MD, you wake up incredibly rested and refreshed. We're the MDs in New Sleep MD, the sleep solution millions have been waiting for. Get yours today at sleepmdhealth.com, Walgreens, GNC, and fine retailers everywhere. Hello, is Mr. Church in, please? It's Jillian Coleridge. Thank you. Yes, of course I'll take it. Listen, I'll have to get back to you right away. It's, uh, it's an emergency. Miss Coleridge. Hello. Yes, I was hoping you'd call today. I'd like to see you soon. Well, okay. Have you been considering my offer? Yes. I have, and I'd like to discuss retaining your services as my counsel. There are some things that you're going to need to understand. All right, uh, of course. I have an appointment at 1.15 today, so how about 3.30 this afternoon? That's fine. Should I meet you at your office? No, I'd rather meet you. Even if I shut off all the phones, I'm afraid that something or other might interrupt us, and I sense this is far too important to allow that to happen. So how about your office? I I've been practicing from my home. Well, that's fine. All right, it's 742 West 148th Street. I'm going to tell the doorman that I'm expecting you. The reporters have been... Yes, yes, I do understand. All right, I'll see you at uh, 3.30, and I'm glad you called. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thank Good you. Goodbye. There has to be a way to convince Faith not to go to New Orleans. I could just figure it out. I could just see how, if I could just see what happens. I can see what happens. At least they think I can. What can happen to you in New Orleans? Could you connect me with information, please? Newspapers do that, right? <sighs> yes, you can help me. I'd like a list of all the disasters that have happened in New Orleans in, say, the past 50 years. I guess natural ones. Are there other kinds? Well, give me them all. Yes, this is very important. Mm -hmm. In Genoa City, you'll always find romance, rapture, and passion. Sometimes even between married couples. From spousal cheatings to corporate meetings, come to the place where the heat is always on. The Young and the Restless, coming up next, only on Subnet.